So hi ah. Hi Stephen, welcome to the Tally Karen Show. Uh, we want to talk about the recent MCMC uh, coming in and, and having this, this discussion with Melissa Kini. Mm-hmm. Can you just uh, give us the latest of uh, what's, what's going on, what, what's the next course of action? That, uh, well, um, they have uh, interviewed um, 13 of us yesterday. Uh, we spent about 8 hours uh, in the office here. Uh, they, had, they brought along 9 investigators, wow. um, split into 3 different teams. And uh, they did the interviews almost you know, uh, simultaneously uh, you know, with a few other people at the same time. Um, so I think you know, the intention is for them to wrap up the uh, investigation as soon as possible. Right. And are you anticipating any further action or you're not sure yet? I think judging by the speed of the investigation and judging by the fact that, uh, that they have received an instruction from the AG's uh, chambers, the Attorney General's chambers, to, uh, to do it quickly. I think uh, uh, you know, we're looking at possible a decision to be made very soon and I think we're preparing uh, uh, that uh, we could be charged. I see. And, and is, this, is this a normal occurrence, like getting orders from the AG's chambers to do it very quickly? And are you, are you familiar with the I, process? I have no idea. I think you, know, you will have to ask them. Okay. Uh, um, well, I, I guess, you know, the, um, um, the, the accusation about the fact that um, all these different commissions are not are not independent, the fact that they're getting instruction from other people, especially from the AG's chambers and all that. But I, I guess you know the, 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 um, uh, it's, it's, they, they do refer to the uh, AG uh, when it comes to uh, you know pressing charges. Uh, Stephen, when we spoke with uh, Sharil Tamizi, mm-hmm. the CEO of the MCMC, he brought up this, this whole issue about self-regulation. Uh, what is your stand with regards to, to self-regulation and, and you know, like Melissa Kini? I we are we, we believe in a responsible media. I think it's, you know that we have been around for the past ten years, uh, and uh, that we have been responsible. I think definitely we are pushing the envelope of freedom uh, as far as we can. Um, uh, but I think you know that over the past ten years, uh, that, uh, we have discussed a lot of a lot of. Uh, Issues that's considered once considered taboo, right. issues like NEP, you know, religion, race, and all that language, uh, and yet you don't see rise on the street. And right. I think you know, uh, Malaysia has reached the point where we are more or less mature enough to, to discuss these issues. Mm-hmm. And with regards to the two videos, what is your stand on it? Are you going to? Are you prepared to take it down? Are you prepared to to stand by? We are, we are standing by the two videos. I think we already discussed this, uh, this in, with our editors. Uh, we believe that uh, they are real news event. Um, the first video was the, uh, the Cowhead uh, uh, protest. Second video was, was a press conference. It was a press conference. Called by, uh, yeah, called by the uh, Home Minister uh, Hishamuddin uh, uh, Hussein on. So, you know, there, there, there's no reason why we should take them down. Why? why is it? Is it is it okay to, to ask you why do you think what, what is going on in, in the mind like okay with the cow head thing I can kind of understand mm-hmm. right. but with the press conference you will have to ask uh, the Home Minister why uh, <laughs> he wanted the video to be taken down <laughs> at least his press conference we did not you know the, the manipulate the video it was a straight you know recording of the press conference uh, obviously, I think some of the things that he said at the press conference could be embarrassing to him. Right. Uh, he has changed his position since then. Uh, I think, you know, uh, it is, you know uh, he should have uh, just basically said that, look, you know, I was wrong. Uh, I'm sorry. I you know, uh, decided to change my position. Uh, uh, this is not a way to erase history, basically. I think that's what he's trying to do. I see. And with regards to, uh, let's see, let's say the, the, this whole idea, I think some people are floating the idea that this is another case of a, a, a persecution mm-hmm. or shooting the messenger. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you feel about about? I, I, this? There, there, or are you guys just used to it already? I, I think we're used to it. Uh, but we've been through this. We've been through much worse uh, <laughs> a number of occasions over the past ten years. So I think this is this is uh, perhaps just a blip uh, for us. Um, but definitely we are prepared for the worst. Um, the, you know, if, if, if this thing uh, uh, goes to court, uh, we'll definitely file out in court. And I think we are in a pretty good position to argue our case. Mm-hmm. And, and are you, mm, uh, what kind of consequences 
maybe or you you don't think that that's an area that you're ready kind of like to tackle yet well i uh, uh, yeah i think uh, we will we'll wait, wait until, until you, you get know, to the bridge they, yeah, yeah, before you cross it that's right okay and uh, lastly i guess um, you know it's been 10 years mm-hmm. right that, that music knee has been around and, and i suppose i think the question on a lot of people's minds is you know how how ready is Malaysia Kini I think to continue to to play this kind of role is is it is it you know not just yourself but also the editorial team right. and, and 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 basically the crew that, that goes out and, and does this because you know we've we've seen an incident with Sinchu mm-hmm. the, the the journalist was detained under the ISA for mm-hmm. protection for exactly. example I you know I think we are we've been uh, um, when we started Malaysia Kini, we knew uh, what what to expect. I think you know uh, we went into this with our eyes wide open. Uh, when I hired journalists and editors, I told them that look, don't <laughs> join. Really. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you know, to expect uh, a lot of harassment from uh, the authorities. I mean, you know, that if you don't think you can weather that, don't join Malaysia Kini. So I think uh, we are very much prepared. Um, a lot, I mean, you know, the, the whole team is very motivated. Um, issues like this actually make us even more motivated yeah, uh, sure. to do our job. So I, I, I don't think it's got, not, it, this kind of harassment is not going to stop us. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank Stephen. you. And all okay. the best. Thanks a lot. Okay. The very unwelcome word of the week is... So hi. So hi. Cantonese for stupid... Cunt meant as an insult. Oddly enough, it's meant to be addressed to males. If J.K. Rowling can do it, so can you. So, hi. Hmm.